Now let's say you want to reproject some of the detail of your original model onto your low poly version. Um, so this right here is a very low poly retopologized version of the trousers I've created. Um, but as you can see, I've lost a ton of detail during that process. Um, in ZBrush, there's a pretty neat way to reproject those. So what we can do is firstly, we have to make sure that those two models line up. Um, this should be the case for most of you, especially if you're working with automatic retopology. But let's say you were creating different models in Blender or Maya, um, you might need to check that those um, line up. So nextly, make sure those are the only two objects or tools visible within your outliner. And then from there, what we can do is um, we can go to our low poly version um, and store morph target. So this is sort of like a safety backup. Um, essentially, we've now created an invisible duplicate or ZBrush remembers the way our mesh used to be. So for example, if we were to apply any major changes to our model, um, we could now go ahead and use the morph brush in order to go back to the state of our model previously to our changes. Um, so once again, making sure that your morph target is stored. And then from there, what we can do is have those two lie on top of another, and then we can go to project all. And now you should be able to see that our low poly version has taken a lot of those details. And now we can take the morph brush in order to erase or redo some of those areas. Um, that suffered under the projection. So that being said, I hope this might have been handy to some of you. Um, feel free to leave any questions down below and have a great day.